Jubilee of the 10th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. In our Gospel today, we see Jesus, on the one hand, being accused of being out of his mind, and on the other hand, he is accused of being possessed by the chief of demons, known as Beelzebub. Jesus, for so many people, is a sign of contradiction. For example, in our world, people are used to revenge, violence, wickedness. Jesus, however, uses passages which do not normally want to hear. Jesus, however, uses passages which we do not normally want to hear, like turn the other cheek or love your enemies. In today's world, power and riches determine our respect and consideration for people. People are more comfortable following those with power and influence rather than being meek and humble. It is in this world that Jesus teaches us that blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the meek and humble. In such a context, it is easy for people to say he's out of his mind. While we are used to hearing and using the expression, blood is thicker than water, Jesus tells us today that the waters of baptism are thicker than the blood of family. That is why he constitutes a new family not based on biological affinities but on being children of God. Jesus lived in a context where charlatans used magical powers to perform miracles. We now understand why the Jews and the authorities of his day thought he was possessed by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. In today's gospel, the authenticity of the power of Jesus is being questioned. With a new style of ministry brought by Jesus, we see that he is clearly on his way to a head-on collision with the religious establishment who were the gatekeepers for Orthodox Jewish faith and practice. The same contradictions which some people see in Jesus can be applied to those of us who are his followers today. I can imagine people who want to always do good and they keep on having nicknames attached to them. In some contexts where bribery and corruption are the order of the day, once you are giving bribe or receiving bribe, you are considered a normal person. The moment you decide to be honest and avoid corruption and bribery, people start asking you, are you normal? Are you out of your mind? Many will not understand why you should be going to church. So often, why you should be praying? They will ask you, are you the new Virgin Mary we have? And many other nicknames. So, our following Jesus makes us to be like signs of contradiction for our world. The Gospel of today teaches us that we should be attached to Jesus and learn from Him. Even if Jesus was not understood in His context, so we too we may not be understood in our context. The beauty book today is found in each and every one of us. In some cases, due to intellectualism, we dismiss any divine intervention in our lives seeing it as a mere coincidence. In other cases, we discourage and mock at those who want to be attached to Christ. We cannot be for Him and be against Him. If we are for Christ, then we are having a united kingdom with Him. Then we are ready to be in contradiction and people will not understand us. But if we are far from Christ, then we live in a divided kingdom. If we are with Him, then we remain one with Him. Let us not be afraid, my dear brothers and sisters, of doing good, even if many people around us keep on doing the wrong thing. The real Christian is always a sign of contradiction to the times. They will say, oh, Christianity is old school. Yes, it's old school, but it's better to be with Christ and remain with Him. That is the real thing which I would like us to learn today. My Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.